I've been looking for a good high protein flour to make some recipes with. I'm a dessert freak, so I'm very excited that it came across Jiminy's, so stay yes. tuned. Yes, awesome. My name is Ashley, and I'm with Leg Day Fitness, and I'm joined with Robert with Jiminy's. What's up, you guys? And this is a high protein cricket flour that we're experimenting with. That's your business. Yeah, yeah. And he's partnering up with me to make some delicious recipes. Now, when you talk about crickets and you say the word delicious, people might be skeptical. Oxymoron, it sounds like, right? But we are going to prove you wrong, and today yep. we're making chocolate chip cookies with cricket flour. Yes, we are. So this is not going to be your average video, or this is not going to be your average mom and pop bakery. This is definitely going to be cooking and baking with a twist, and uh, we're excited. We're going to talk about like why we teamed up together. Uh, we'll talk about like the fitness industry and where we see everything going. So I'm super excited to get started, and. Um, you guys, we're gonna have a special treat at the very end because you're gonna see a priceless reaction from Ashley trying these crickets. And um, taste testing, <laughs> and just to let you know, a thousand ground up crickets inside this yes. package right here. So it's a lot of crickets, but we are gonna have some fun with this and just show you that there are a lot of benefits by using Jiminy's. Absolutely. So let's get started. Let's see. So just do about a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not professional chefs, but we do like to bake. But we love food. <laughs> we have one and one fourth cup of Jiminy's mix. This is where all the protein is going to be coming from. I don't smell anything that could be insect based. One teaspoon of baking soda. All right, you guys, yep. cooking with that white. A fourth a teaspoon of salt. Okay. So, all right, you guys, halfway there. Okay, we need six tablespoons of coconut oil. Brown sugar, three-fourths cup. So three-fourths of the way with that. Okay. You got it, you got yeah. it. Six tablespoons of almond butter as well. One large egg. One large egg. Okay. You got this. So let's mix that up, and then what we'll do is we'll combine the wet and the dry ingredients. I've been looking for a flour that is low in carbs, has a good amount of protein, and decent amount of fat, and this is it. Awesome. Guys, if you guys are watching this right now, I would highly encourage you guys to comment the strangest food you've ever eaten before. I really want to know. Our cookies are almost ready. What we're going to do is we're going to put them in the oven, so we'll see you back in about 15 minutes for the ultimate taste test. Yes. See you guys. gluten-free. Well, that's so nice of you. Thank you. It doesn't have any dairy in it, does it? Because I can't eat dairy either. The cookies are done. They're cooling right now. So we're just going to hang out and chat and then we're going to get into the ultimate taste test. I mean, these are pretty thick cookies. <laughs> this is really hard for me not to like reach over and try this. So. Yeah. And we want them while they're warm, so we'll just give it True. a couple minutes. True. Yeah, so these just came out of the oven right now, and we're going to let them cool a little bit. I'm really excited to taste them because I know that there's crickets inside there, but you know what? I'm going to roll with it, and I'm just going to enjoy this new and different chocolate chip cookie, this creation that made. You, you know, does that change like anything that you know that there's actual cricket protein in there? Does that change anything for you? Surprisingly, I thought it would be like cringing to the fact of this, but I'm actually more intrigued. And just after you've educated us about the benefits and how this type of flour is sustainable, I'm, yeah. I'm excited to give it a try. You know what, that's the crazy thing is, because we see that, you know, fear is just the lack of understanding, honestly. And we see that a lot of people that are nervous, that are scared, it's mainly because we've been, we've all been programmed growing up to watch shows like Fear Factor and like we're brought up that eating insects is actually a taboo. But the crazy thing was is, is 80% of the, the country is already eating insects on a regular basis. It's just America and the western part of the world that hasn't really caught up with everyone. So That is very true. It just seems to be socially unacceptable. But even we were traveling in Thailand in September and yeah, you could yeah. buy live bugs at the market next oh to the gosh. fruit and you get like handfuls and eat them. Like, like chili that's powder, a lot to lemon. I mean those legs are moving and everything. So I feel like that's a different ball game to then this. So this is like True. a way to ease into it. Yes. 
and maybe I'll graduate to that next level one day. True, true. <laughs> Honestly, that's the goal with Jiminy's in the next five years. We want the term crickets or insects in particular just to be a boring term. Like we want it to be like, like when we say burger, or like when we say fries, like that's where we see us going. So honestly, I challenge all of you guys to, you know, look at your cultural perceptions and challenge them. Um, I, I challenge you guys to expand your mind, expand your palates, and- Be learn. open minded. Seriously, dude. Like she nailed it. Like, and, and we join, we welcome you guys to join the movement that we have going on with Jiminy. So, um, I'm ready. Are you ready to I'm taste ready. this masterpiece? <laughs> yes. Okay, so guys, this is the moment of truth. We have Ashley Leg trying Jiminy's um, chocolate chip. This was a special request for her. So in honor, you get the you get the first bite. Right, are you on you want to cheers me? I will, I will. <laughs> cheers. It's her creation. Mmm. So much chocolate goodness too. You can't even tell that there's crickets in here. I would have never known. So good. Wow. There's no saving anything. I'm wow. eating all of these. <laughs> you guys, honestly, I'm so glad you like it. I'm impressed. I really am. And on, it's like on the same level as like all the other flowers that I use when I cook every day. The almond flour, mm -hmm. coconut flour. I would never have guessed in a million years that there was so many crickets in this batch. So Wayne Wayne, step outside your comfort zone. Absolutely. So, you guys, we had a great time. Um, you want to tell them where, where they can follow you, subscribe to you, and um, yes, you can check that. out my website. It's legday.com, and that's double G L E G G D A Y dot com, and it's the same on Instagram as well. First off. Isn't that crazy that she has a, a last name like that and she's in the fitness industry? When I first found that out, I was like, dude, you're playing with me. But when I found out that's actually her last name, I was like, Ashley, yo, you have a, a standard to live by. Like, you can't skip leg day. I know, every day is leg day. That was been our hashtag since like the beginning when I met my husband, like his mm. last name just clicked. It was perfect. Every day's leg day. <laughs> See, I'm good. But I still need to try to like work out and keep up with you. Yeah. I mean like- I have to do a challenge one day. Like, okay. Like, like a push up challenge or something. <laughs> What's your, well, how, many, how many days a week do you usually work out? Five to six. Guys, this, this lady's on fire right here. Are you are you planning on doing like any competitions anytime soon? Maybe, I'm thinking about it. Right now I've been really busy just like focusing on my clients and making sure they're taken care of. But I always have the itch to get back on stage because it like it's the time when I feel alive. And I love go. the discipline factor of like competing. And it just takes time and, and you just work hard and then you get to see your body change. It's so awesome. So we'll see. I agree. You guys can tell me these are really good because yeah. like, I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just so, yeah, stay I tuned will. for more good recipes.